Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain parameters of spherical coordinate system. In this video, I'll cover parameters like line integration, surface integration, volume integration, gradient, curl of function, and divergence of function for spherical coordinate system. And that I'll explain with respect to Cartesian coordinate system. So first of all, you need to understand basics of spherical coordinate system. See in spherical coordinate, we have coordinates r, theta and phi. r is radius of this point with respect to origin. Theta is angle of this line with respect to z axis. And phi is angle of this line on xy plane with respect to x axis. If you observe this point from top view, See, if you view it from top view over here, then this point that you can observe on xy plane. You see here we have x-axis, here we have y-axis. So in top view, this line that is appearing like this and this line is making angle phi with respect to x-axis. Right. Here I have mentioned length of this line that is r sine theta in xy plane. Let me explain how it is happening. See this line that is having radius r. If you consider triangle over here, this angle is theta. So what is the dimension of this opposite side? This opposite side that is having dimension that is r sine theta. And that r sine theta that you can view it from top view. Right. This r sine theta that we can view it from top view. So that is this dimension. Right. Now I need to explain you how changes are happening. Like if you have x axis, y axis, and z axis, and with x axis, let us consider change is dx. With y axis, let us consider change is dy. And with z axis, let us consider change is dz. So here, what will be the change in r, theta, and phi? See, with r, with r, change will be dr. So as if you have changes in x, y and z, then radius dimension that will change by dr. What will happen with theta and phi? Based on this understanding, entire video is there. So let me be more clear over here. See, as if you have change in theta, then how much dimension will get changed? So here we have z axis. Let, let me show it to you. Here we have z axis. Here we have a line here we have a line that is this line that is making angle theta over here this line that is having radius r right that is having radius r now here what is happening here there is change in angle let us consider this change that is d theta so because of this change in angle that is d theta how much dimension is getting change that change in dimension that is this much so that is how much that is this angle into radius so this radius is r into angle d theta right so change in theta that is resulting into change as per r d theta right let me note it down over here r d theta that will be change in dimension because of change in theta what will happen as if you change angle phi so here, if you observe, we will be changing angle phi, right, by d phi over here. If you change angle phi by d phi over here, then dimension is getting changed by this much amount. Now what is this amount? That is this radius into d phi. This radius is how much? R sine theta into this change in angle, that is d phi. So if you change angle phi by d phi, then dimension is getting changed by r sine theta d phi. So here, because of change in phi, dimension is getting changed by r sine theta d phi. And based on this change, all the parameters can be calculated. Right. So now, here, let me note down those points one by one. Here, 
in Cartesian coordinate will be changing x axis by dx, y axis by dy, and z axis by dz. So, in that situation, in spherical coordinate, radius is getting changed by dr. This angle theta that is resulting into r d theta and this angle d phi that is resulting into r sin theta d phi. That is how change in coordinate happens. Right. Now, what will happen with respect to line integration? See, in Cartesian coordinate, you want line integration, then line is having direction. Right. So, I have noted it by arrow over here and here we will be having variation in x, the direction of x plus variation in y, the direction of y plus variation in z, in the direction of z. That is how line integration that we calculate, right. Now, as if you talk about spherical coordinate, then here we have line integration. So, dl that I am noting, that will be variation in radial component that is dr in the direction of r plus variation in angular component with respect to theta that is r d theta in the direction of theta plus variation in angular component of d phi that is r sin theta d phi in the direction of i phi right that is how line integration calculation is there. Now, in surface integration, in surface integration, here you can have three possible combinations with respect to xy. It will be dx, dy and direction will be perpendicular to x and y. That will be in the direction of z. With respect to xz it will be dx dz and direction will be perpendicular to x and z that is y and with respect to yz it will be dy dz direction will be perpendicular to y and z that is dx that is how surface integration is there similarly with spherical coordinate if you have two dimensions r and theta so we will have to multiply these two so that is r dr d theta that is perpendicular to phi so it will be there in the direction of i phi if you multiply dr and d phi then it will be r sin theta dr d phi it will be r sin theta dr d phi and it will be perpendicular to this two that is there in the direction of theta. So, i theta that is the direction of this surface integration and if you have these two components right in surface you will have to multiply two components. So, if you have r d theta and r sin theta d phi. So, that is resulting into r square sin theta d theta d phi. So, it will be having direction which is perpendicular to this two that is in r direction. So, i r that is the direction of this surface integration component right. Now, volume integration that is quite simple. In volume integration here with Cartesian coordinate we have dx, dy and dz and in volume integration we do not have direction right. Here in spherical coordinate volume integration will be multiplication of these three variation right. So, it will be r square sin theta into dr d theta and d phi that is a volume integration that is there with spherical coordinate. Let me explain gradient. See here when you talk about gradient. So, gradient of scalar function that one can calculate and that will be del into f where f is scalar function. So, here what I will do is I will explain you this del operator only right. So, what is del operator? Del operator that is 
for Cartesian coordinate it is del by del x in the direction of i x plus del by del y in the direction of i y plus del by del z in the direction of i z that is how it is there with Cartesian coordinate similarly with spherical coordinate we need to understand this it will be del operator in spherical coordinate that is del by del r in ir direction plus now you see here we are dealing with to have variation with respect to theta where it is r d theta right so here it will be del by r del theta the direction of i theta right and here we need to understand third component with respect to phi where we have r sin theta d phi so here it will be del phi r sin theta del phi in the direction of i phi that is how it is there right so this is how del operator is there and based on this del operator we can understand curl of function see how curl of function that is del cross f curl of function that is del cross f so here in cartesian coordinate it is quite simple it is ix iy iz then del by del x del by del y and del by del z here with function x coordinate is fx y coordinate is fy and z coordinate is fz that is how curl of function that one can understand right curl of function in spherical coordinate is del cross f here with spherical coordinate what are the coordinates we have ir here we have i theta and here we have i phi that is how coordinates are there with us and with respect to r variation is del by del r with respect to theta variation is del by del theta and with respect to phi variation is del by del phi here with radial direction function is having component fr with theta function is having component f theta and with phi function is having component f phi now if you observe radial component theta and phi component then i have explained with radial component variation is dr with theta variation is r d theta and with phi variation is r sin theta d phi so here see along with f theta we need to multiply r as along with d theta we need to multiply r along with f theta we need to multiply r along with f phi we need to multiply r sin theta why the reason is with d phi we need to multiply r sin theta right now if you observe see with this row we are having how many components those are extra r and r sin theta means r square sin theta that is extra component so with this row we need to balance it so with ir we need to divide r square sin theta so along with ir 1 divided by r square sin theta is there here with i theta r is already there so r divided by r square sin theta means it will be 1 divided by r sin theta right and with i phi r sin theta is there r sin theta divided by r square sin theta means it will be 1 by r only right so that is how curl of function that is there in spherical coordinate system this is how you can remember right now let me explain divergence see in divergence calculation with cartesian coordinate it is del dot f that is del fx by del x plus del fy by del y plus del fz 
by del z but with spherical coordinate it is quite interesting and you will have to remember this del dot f that is 1 by r square into del r square f r by del r plus 1 by r sin theta into del of sin theta f theta divided by del theta and with respect to phi it will be 1 by r sin theta del f phi by del phi See, this is what the basic equation that you will have to remember for divergence calculation with spherical coordinate system in future coming videos i'll be solving few interesting examples where you will have to utilize these equations right so these are the essential equations that you will have to remember and by doing practice you can solve problems as well so see the videos in sequence in future coming videos i'll be solving few problems by which you will get to know how we can apply all these equations Thank you so much for watching this video.